If you have ever played in church, at a wedding, for a private function, or even in a band, I'm sure you've come across a point where you've had to just waste time at the piano. You've had to fill the space with beautiful background music, and if you don't know what to play, that can feel really intimidating and overwhelming. So in this lesson, I'm gonna give you the secret to wasting time at the piano. So the very first thing that you need to know that will save your life in these situations is the sus chord. So I'm gonna demonstrate this on D major. So I've got a D, an F sharp, and an A that I'm working with here, but you can do this in any key. So this chord is just a D, an F sharp, and an A. And to play a sus chord, we're gonna swap this third for a second. So now I've got D, E, and A. And this is called a sus two. And now we could swap that and go back to our normal D chord. Then we could go to the sus four, so we're gonna swap the third for the fourth. And you've just discovered the greatest time waster of all. <laughs> so what I like to do here is just move between the susses. You can do solid form. And I'm pulsing on a fifth with my left hand. So on the one, I'm landing on the D and then playing the fifth for every other beat. You can also play the sus chord sort of broken like this. Add octaves in your left hand for some drama to the sus four and back again to the three. Now you could spend a fair bit of time doing this but eventually you may want to sort of change the sound. Now you can keep going with the sus so don't let go of that but what we're gonna do now is we're gonna add some different notes to the bass. So in any key the one, the four, the five, and the minor six sound good together. So if D is our one, we're gonna try adding in the four in our left hand only. So watch this. Here we go, we're gonna switch to G in the left. Sounds lovely. All of a sudden you've just bought yourself some more time. So let's try to find out how the minor six sounds as the vase, which is B minor in this case. I'm not changing anything in my right hand. I'm just working on those notes of the sus chord. Now let's try the five, which is A. Also sounds really good. I could spend a really long time here, guys. Um, and so could you, but I think you get the point. Um, now, if you really need to waste time, and this has happened to me before. I played a wedding once where the bride was one hour late. Um, so I had to waste a lot of time at the piano. I had very sore hands. So what I'm doing here is I'm taking a chord, in this case D, I've inverted it into root position, or that's not root position. I'm in first inversion here, and I'm just rocking back and forth with my five and my two. Sounds really pretty. Now I'm gonna switch my bass chord again. And again, you don't have to move. I'm in this first inversion one chord shape, which will sound good over top of any of the root notes of the uh, one, five, six, four progression, which is all I'm doing here. I'll do that once more through. There's my one, which is D. And then I'm gonna switch to my five, which is G. Then I'm gonna go to my minor six, which is B. And then I'm gonna go down to my four in just a second, which is A. And then back to the one. If you want, you can follow the chord structure. So I'm on D now, I'm gonna to go to the five and I'm gonna play a G chord, just the outside of the chord. Minor six is a B minor. I'm gonna voice it this way, so I'm in second inversion, just playing the outer shell of the chord. A playing the outer shell here, so C sharp and E, but if I were in a different inversion, we could sound like that, or like that. So, there are my tricks to wasting time at the piano. I hope you find these super helpful. Comment below and let me know where you think you can use these tips and tricks, and uh, enjoy.